Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this Saturday, the uh, vigil of the first Sunday of Advent, our final uh, partial day in ordinary time as we enter Advent this evening. Uh, most of you know, some of you know, that I do pre-record these evening prayer sessions. So yesterday I was doing my recording and then right when I had finished I got word uh, that Deacon Stewart, who had been in the hospital for weeks uh, suffering from pneumonia and uh, complications thereof, and he, uh, he passed away yesterday morning. Uh, hopefully most of you have already heard um, Deacon Stewart was was the best of us uh, such a beautiful soul such a giving generous person uh, continue to pray for Mary Mead and the rest of the family that the Lord strengthens them in this time of grief and we pray that uh, Deacon Stewart's soul may rest in the peace and the loving, merciful hands of our Lord. As we pray our evening prayer this morning and reflect on today's readings, Saturday's readings, uh, we hear from the book of Revelation a beautiful vision that John had uh, of heaven and how the river of, of life, water of life, life-giving water flowed from the throne of God and it nourished the plant life along the river, the trees of life uh, giving f fruit, food every month, and the leaves as medicine. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing bad came from these trees, uh, this, this life that, that flowed from the chair of God. And the light in heaven was provided by God himself, no need for sun and moon and stars uh, god himself was the light that shone in heaven uh, beautiful uh, vision uh, of what we have to look forward to in paradise our gospel today too um, is also a warning of for us to to be strong in our faith and to continue to to uh, do good things with our lives so that uh, we can attain heaven. So it's uh, as we enter into Advent and we prepare ourselves for Christ's coming. Uh, let us pray for uh, this, the repose of the soul of Deacon Stewart and the strengthening of our souls as we journey towards our heavenly kingdom as well. well let us pray our evening prayer together in the spirit of preparedness. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Jerusalem. Let your joy overflow. Your Savior will come to you. Alleluia. I have called to you, Lord, hasten to help me. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise before you like incense, the raising of my hands like an evening oblation. Set, O Lord, a guard over my mouth. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to things that are wrong, to evil deeds with men who are sinners. Never allow me to share in their feasting. If a good man strikes or reproves me, it is kindness. But let the oil of the wicked <coughs> not anoint my head. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. Their princes are thrown down by the side of the rock, and then they understood that my words were kind. As a millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so their bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge, spare my soul. From the trap they have laid for me, keep me safe. Keep me from the snares of those who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is worthy of all praise. Let our prayer come like incense before you. May the lifting up of our hands be as an evening sacrifice, acceptable to you, Lord our God. Rejoice, Jerusalem, let your joy overflow. Your Savior will come to you. Alleluia. Rejoice, Jerusalem, let your joy overflow. Your Savior will come to you. Alleluia. I, the Lord, am coming to save you. Already I am near you. Soon I will free you from your sins. With all my voice I cry to the Lord. With all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my troubles before him. I tell him all my distress while my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see there is not one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I have said you are my refuge, all I have left in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble because of your goodness to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, we humbly ask for your goodness. May you help us to hope in you and give us a share with your chosen ones in the land of the living. I, the Lord, am coming to save you. Already I am near. Soon I will free you from your sins. Lord, send the Lamb, the ruler of the earth, from the rock in the desert to the mountain of the daughter of Zion. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and thus it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every other name. So that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send the Lamb, the ruler of the earth, from the rock in the desert to the mountain of the daughter of Zion. <coughs> A reading from the first letter to the Thessalonians. May the God of peace make you perfect in holiness. May he preserve you whole and entire, spirit, soul, and body irreproachable at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls us is trustworthy, therefore he will do it. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation, your mercy and love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, show us your mercy and love. See the Lord coming from afar, his splendor fills the earth. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. 
for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his army, has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. See the Lord coming from afar. His splendor fills the earth. <clears throat> Jesus Christ is the joy and happiness of all who look forward to his coming. Let us call upon him and say, Come, Lord, and do not delay. In joy we wait for your coming. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord, and do not delay. In joy we wait for your coming. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord, and do not delay. Before time began, you shared life with the Father. Come now and save us. Come, Lord, and do not delay. You created the world and all who live in it. Come to redeem the work of your hands. Come, Lord, and do not delay. You did not hesitate to become man subject to death. Come to free us from the power of death. Come, Lord, and do not delay. You came to give us life to the full. Come and give us your unending life. Come, Lord, and do not delay. You came to give us life to the full. Come and give us your unending life. Come, Lord, and do not delay. You desire all people to live in love in your kingdom. Come and bring together those who long to see you face to face. Come, Lord, and do not delay. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. All-powerful God, increase our strength of will for doing good, that Christ may find an eager welcome at his coming, and call us to his side in the kingdom of heaven where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray that your Advent season is rich and filled with many graces and blessings. And uh, we will see you all tomorrow on Sunday, the first Sunday of Advent. God bless.